Hello to my millions of fans out there listening to me. I'm Jesse Buckner, and this is my first podcast ever. My first and final podcast is called LGBTQ and Mental Health CMCI 1010. The topic I'm going to be discussing is about the pressures the LGBTQ community faces when coming out and how that can affect the individual's mental health. While doing further research, I spoke to Morgan Seamont, who's the Assistant Director in the Gender and Sexuality Center at the University of Colorado, as well as Alan Kent, who's the Director of CAPS, which stands for Counseling and Psychiatric Services. There will also be a special guest speaker, my cousin Jason, who is 23 and gay. Soon to come will be discussions on the fear of coming out, the effect coming out has had on the LGBTQ community, the progress that we've had, and what we still have to work on. I'm coming out is different for everyone. Depending on the individual circumstances at home and the area they are living in can either make someone's experience a breeze or like hell. I'm from the northern part of Chicago where I live with my immediate family and some of my extended family as well. My family is so accepting and understanding that it made it so much easier when my cousin Jason came out to us. When I was coming out to the whole family, it was uh, it was a totally different kind of thing. I had already you know, told my parents, my brothers, of course, you know, and crack some jokes. And then with a the family, it was just like, okay, did anyone know already? Did anyone expect it? Were people, you know, talking about it behind my back or something like that? But uh, at the same time, you know, it was just as easy. I mean, we have an incredibly accepting family and uh, we're just really lucky in general. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't get as lucky as Jason did and the experience can be really traumatizing. For example, according to Morgan, 40% of the homeless population under 18 identifies LGBT, meaning they have probably been cut off or kicked out of their family homes because their parents can't accept them for whatever reason. Um, there tend to be probably a greater degree of assaults that happen on LGBT identified people, um, greater degree of suicidality, um, greater degree of accomplished suicides. Um, in part, again, because of the pressure put on society, but also because of um, the general lack of acceptance in many families. That was Morgan Seamont describing how having extra unnecessary pressures from society in your life will generally contribute to any underlying mental health issues. And we learned from Kent that the reactions from these types of situations differ from person to person. Um, probably suffer from the similar kind of things as anybody else. Depression is certainly an issue, uh, anxiety, and, and substance use. Just as Kent mentioned, the LGBTQ community experiences mental health issues just like everyone else. However, they are more susceptible to receiving outcomes and biases towards them. And therapists and psychiatrists don't always know how to correctly treat their specific problem. On a more upbeat note, there has been a huge increase in the acceptance towards the LGBTQ community, and it really looks like things are taking a turn for the better. According to a survey conducted by the Pew Research Center, an overwhelming share of America's LGBT adults say that society has become more accepting of them in the past decade, and they expect it to grow even more accepting in the decades to come. They say people are becoming more aware of what's going on from people knowing and interacting with someone who's LGBT to adults raising their families different by being more informant on the situations at hand. People can't help the fact that they're LGBTQ. They've been this way their entire life. We've come a very long way considering the fact that being LGBTQ used to be thought of as a mental disorder, and since the civil rights movement, there has been much more acceptance. However, we still have a ways to go. There will still always be those select few homophobic individuals, but as a majority, I think we, as the American population, are capable of eliminating the stereotypes and changing the way the world looks at the LGBTQ people. It was so great talking to you guys, and I hope you now have a better understanding of the LGBTQ community and mental health. This is Jesse Buckner, signing off.